Hey everyone, Gil here at Camp Pat and Family Compound. Well, I got something. Finally came. The uh, um, grow lights I ordered. Uh, I've been posting about them, how long it's taken, you know, two days of Amazon Prime shipping, and it's now been 11 days. Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to uh, go through this, show you how um, it works, how you got to assemble it. All the things that have to happen on it. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, let me set the camera up over here and we'll get at it. And adjust it here. All right. So when they ship it, they, uh, they bundle everything up together here. And I already cut the things here. So this is what the, uh, the individual light units look like at first. So, but they send the uh, shrouds for them separately. So let me unwrap this here. Now, this is, uh, this is a little bit weird. The uh, shape on these, has a, uh, it's not exactly the same. So I'll see if I can get a close up so you can see it. This side here is a little bit thicker here than this side over here is. And so, uh, if I can get it here to line up here. Thicker side goes into this little notch right there. And sometimes it goes in easy and sometimes it does not. There we go, I think, yeah, okay. So I, I got, it, got it sliding in. And once it's in there, then you just... Uh, Slide it on down. This one. And sometimes it just doesn't. There we go. Gotta get it just right so it slides all nice and easy. All right, so that's how it goes, and this one here now is all nice and ready, and so it hangs like this, but this one is a little bit different than the other one. The other ones on the clips had a um, little swivel thing on it, and this kit comes up totally different here. You got these things here with little uh, holes to hook it by, and the other ones in the packet had the, uh, the hooks on them. And this one here, packet, let me uh, open it up here so you, so you see. There's one packet for each. One, one, two, yeah, one packet for each light, being six lights here. Come around over here. And I will dump the stuff out here. Okay, so it comes with two different type of brackets. This bracket here is what, and it has some screws for it, so the screw goes through it. And you can mount it up under a, uh, under a cabinet or someplace above where you're doing your growing. It comes with a plug here. And this plug would go into the end here. Let's see if I can show you. you slip it in and push it in. And that keeps the electrical contacts from being able to be accessed. Okay, so it comes with two... two uh, Two of the brackets, two of the, of the screws, and then it has a con another connector here. This here is a uh, put that in there. You can put two of these, you know, plug them in butt to butt here, and then just uh, line several of them up together. But um, I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm going to put this stuff here back in the bag here. Maybe there we go put over there. So I'm not going to be using those on it. The other thing it came with comes with three um, plug units. So it plugs into the wall and then you know, the holes there going to the end. It has on off switch there on it. And then it also has comes with five connectors. 
case you want to have it plugged in once and you want to connect all, uh, a bunch of them together but don't want them on the same level. So it's got the same type of connections there. And then it's a uh, it's about a four foot long uh, piece so you can flex it around different elevations and stuff. And then it has a bunch of zip ties too. In case you uh, like have a wire rack and you just want to uh, use the clips here. Let me go ahead and pull these clips off. So the, one of these units here, hey, you can just uh, zip tie it and zip tie it to the wire rack. Well, what I'm going to be doing with it is uh, on this portion here of it, I'm going to be taking, uh, so this clips onto it, I'm going to be taking and putting a little hook in there so I can use the, uh, the chains like I have the other ones set up there on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this here for you, but I'm just going to go ahead and get these all set up and then we're going to go over to the uh, indoor garden and we're going to start putting, it, putting some of these up, alright? Alright, so I got one left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this across the street to my daughter so she can use that on her, her uh, plants, her seedlings she's trying to get going. Now let me show you what I did over here. All right, so oh, I see what happened there. Uh, let me fix this. That slipped off. There we go. All right, so I got three now, one purple, two whites over the lettuce, and the uh, the um, bunching onions that are down that down there. I got three up here, two purple, one white above the tomato. And then down under the, under here, I got two whites under underneath the tomato sh shining down on here, on the carrots and the uh, onions down here. And I'm hoping this is seen because I can't really see what I'm doing, just kind of aiming it here. And so I got that light shining down here on the uh, on the onions here and the carrots that are down here. And actually, I need to get rid of those two carrots because they're too close to that onion. And so is that one and that one. And uh, We'll see how this grow. This helps them out growing down there. Uh, I moved one of the light, one of these uh, lights I had that I was using over there, over here. So we got got lights on all the uh, carrots and onions over here. And yeah, I know this is kind of Mickey Mouse for right now. We got plenty of lights on the, on these onions down here. I'm going to go ahead and order three foot versions of these white lights, the full spectrum white lights, and they'll be here in a couple weeks. And what I'll do is, I'll do, since it's three foot wide, which is how wide this whole thing here is, I'll just hang it like two over here, and two over there, and I'll go ahead and in this bucket here, uh, fill full of dirt or soil, I got the good soil and stuff. Uh, a bunch of it left and I will plant one of the uh, rainbow chard in it and I got another bucket outside I got to go get and I'll plant not rainbow chard basil sorry basil I'll plant uh, one of the basil in this one and, and basil in the other one and then I'll have these things growing over here alrighty so this is what I've got going so far the improvements on it uh, oh that one's crooked I got to raise that one side up over there that one on the outside here, i got to raise it up to match the other one and it'll be level. So, anyways, uh, as you can see, you can grow food indoors. Oh, oh, I wanted to show you something. Yes, yes, yes. Let's drop down here. There it is. A tomato. My first Roma tomato that is actually set. Uh, I'm not sure this one's going to set or that one. But, um... I got a couple. I got several more blossoms up here. I've been um, hand uh, um, pollinating, so we'll see how well that works on all of those there. And hopefully, uh, I'll have several more um, tomatoes set. All right. So as always, stay happy, stay safe. Don't go out and do anything foolish. Keep on adding to your preps, water food, medications, and most importantly of all right now, plant a garden, indoor or out or both, 
start growing your own food because the prices are going to go absolutely insane here.